Okay, I've uh, sewn up my the four quadrants of my helmet. It, it's, um, because the, there's four layers in the in the middle, I've sort of gone a little bit uh, wide there, but uh, I don't. You are not going to see much of any, and then you can see there's a little sort of train track where where the little feed system of the sewing machine is pushed against the yeah another thing about this you can take you can emboss into it and it'll sort of take impressions um you might need to heat set it um but anything you can do with um large uh eva foam uh you can do with these sheets and it's um you know, you don't have to carve out things. It's just, you know, it comes in little sheets. So it's, now, um, as you can see, I've done a zigzag stitch. So the, the reason for that is if, uh, if I get, um, too thin or too narrow, just said the same thing twice. If I get to sort of, Anything that's structural but pulling in one specific point on on the sheet will just go straight through. So I've just spread the load a little bit, and as I said, I'm just I've gone right over the masking tape, and I'm just going to show you how you can just rip the masking tape off. You know, well, careful so you don't rip the foam. But you just see it lets go quite easily because you easy enough to tear and it's once the machine's gone over it it's essentially perforated. So there's little bits of paper stuck in the thing, but it's all gonna be covered by paint. Don't worry about it. Um Some, because this is thicker than most material that's going to go through a sewing machine, um, you have to be a little more careful on the bobbin side because it might not have. That, that's um, how a sewing machine works. For those that don't know, there's a threaded needle that goes into the machine, and there's also a little spool of thread underneath um, and as the needle is working it sort of weaves the two threads through the machine so it's actually sewing in two directions um, so with very thick material or if you're going very fast which I don't particularly because I'm not that good um, the bottom, which is a little spool of thread underneath. Uh, so here, here it's um, there's some little loops where it's gone through very thick. Um, and I was sewing this side, so the bobbin side has um, the needle hasn't picked up the thread properly a little bit, but. Once you um, paint over this, um, and especially if you're using um, a thick acrylic primer like Gesso, which is what I always use, it will hide a multitude of sins. It uh, it will even fill in some cracks for you. So don't stress about having everything perfect. Um, you're also going to, you know, the reason I've sewn it is just to add a little, yeah, so that's bobbin side has come unstuck as I've uh, untaped this. 
but I'm not going to worry about it because the th thread is just to add a little structural reinforcement across the thing. Um, when you folding the the shape over to, to form the curve, um, that's a job for hot glue. Um, this is all going to be assembled with hot glue. Sticking the two together is hot glue. It's a fairly um, simple job. I don't. Because I was sewing in the other room, I don't have a pair of scissors out here, so I'm just. Um, yeah, so th this and this being thicker are what gives this its structural stability, and once you've glued the whole thing together, it'll sort of. it'll hold its shape. Okay, after sewing it, I've just done a quick uh, test assembly with the brim. Um, all I've done is, you know, pop the top of the helmet inside the brim and taped the four tabs in there. So you can see that this is sort of roughly following the fold line in the pattern. Um, these ones don't even have that, so it's they're just sort of guesstimated, although this one is uh, looks nicer, so you know, feel free to use the recommended settings. Um, I think this is looking reasonably, see, you can see this one's got a little bit of, if things aren't followed, you know, forming the curve properly, you can just sort of pop them out because they might, especially some of the back ones might have a tendency to flip in. Um, also I've noticed that I left some masking tape on the inside and I'm just going to leave it because you're not going to see it. Um, these ones can come off when we're ready to glue, but that's... Um, as I said, the sewing and the brim give the helmet its structure and its shape for the most part. Um, we will be uh, gluing this inside seam of the side of the helmet, so that will finalize everything, and that's more or less it. So I can state with some confidence that this is working.